Today, we are going to model a triangular prism. We will be modeling from scratch, and then render using cycles. You can see here the final render we have done. These should be very easy to do, and you can follow along with me to create one. I am using Blender 2.93.9, but you should be able to use any version you like. We will use the default cube to model the prism. If you do not have one, please add using the Add menu. Use Tab or the menu to change to Edit mode. Press 1 in keypad to switch to front orthographic view. Select two vertices on top right, right-click mouse, and use option Merge Vertices, Collapse. Repeat the same for the two vertices on top left. Switch to face selection mode by pressing 3, or using the top left menu. Select the face on the right side of our model. Select Move tool on the left, so we can see the move arrows on our selection. Use the red arrow to adjust, so we have a shape that looks like a prism. Go to Modifier Properties, and add a bevel modifier. Adjust amount and segments, so that the edges are not very sharp. Go back to Object Mode by pressing Tab, or using the top left menu. Right click on the model, and select Shade Smooth. Go to Object Data Properties section, Normals, and select Auto Smooth. Duplicate the object using Shift D and Y to constraint in Y axis. Move mouse to place the new duplicated object before the original. Use R, Y, 90 to rotate object along Y axis and 90 degrees. Use the Move tool to move it up so both objects are aligned at the bottom. Let's now add the glass material to the models we created. Switch to Shading tab and click on one of the objects to see the default material already applied. If you do not see a material, you will have to create a new one by clicking New, and then apply the same material to the other model. Click on the principal BSDF node and press X to delete. Now, go to Add, Shader, Glass BSDF. Make sure to connect the BSDF output node to surface input of the material output node. Go to Render Properties and enable Ambient Occlusion and Screen Space Reflections. Expand Screen Space Reflections and enable Refraction. Go to Material Properties, make sure the right material is selected, and enable Screen Space Refraction under Settings. Now our model looks like proper glass under Eevee. To render, first we go back to the Layout tab. To check out the material, enable Viewport Shading in top right corner. Then we add a plane using the Add menu, switch to Edit mode, and then adjust the Z axis so that it will show under the prisms. Use the Scale tool to scale up the plane. Switch back to Object Mode using Tab or Top Left Menu. In the right panel, select View, and enable Camera to View. Select the default light in the scene and change it from Point to Area. We also change the light size X and Y each to 2 meters. In Render Properties, select Cycles as the Render Engine. Set device to GPU, and enable render denoising. Next, we need to change to viewport shading mode using the buttons on top right. Now press 0 in the keypad so we are looking through the camera, that is the camera perspective view. Frame the view as we like, so all the objects are framed, and at a good angle. The final step is to render our creation to an image. For this, use the Render menu and select Render Image. Wait while your computer processes and generate some nice looking prisms.
If you like this video, and want us to create more like this, please give us a like. Any feedback or comments are very welcome. See you in the next video.